Hello, my name is Adrian Newey and I am the Managing Technical Partner at Aston Martin Aramco F1. My parents came down um, with my girlfriend, so there was uh, the four of us. And uh, it was in the days when I had long curly hair, <laughs> difficult to believe nowadays. So I look at those pictures and they are quite amusing. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a very special day to uh, to have, especially after the difficulties of the first year, to have, to have got through and, and managed to um, pass through the academic route. Because first of all, I chose it as an aeronautical engineering degree because I wanted to get into motor racing and I felt that aeronautical engineering was the closest thing to, to, to racing cars. I had to work quite hard to get in in the first place because unfortunately I didn't do A-levels, I did a an ordinary national diploma. The first year was actually really tough um, because effectively I only had 16 year old maths and of course the, the lecturers quite understandably all assumed that everybody had A-level standard maths. So that first year and in particular the first term I found really really tough because it just done a lot of the first year is quite maths orientated and I just couldn't do it. And actually by Christmas I was ready to jack it in, I just felt I, I couldn't do it. I was working all hours, having no social life really. And uh, the late Ken Bergen, who was my tutor, um, he was tremendous in his support. He, he gave me the encouragement to say, you can get through this. And so I took um, Ken's advice. Um, and once I got through the first year, then the second and third year came much more naturally to me. So I'm obviously now in the opposite position where involved in the recruitment process of, of graduates. The universities we then recruit from, we are relatively choosy about. Southampton is most definitely one of them, as you can imagine. And yes, we have quite a few graduates from Southampton here. In terms of those who are interested in going, to, going into motor racing, then, but I think this is true for, in general, as a life skill, then what we are looking for is, first of all, inquisitiveness. You know, look around, ask, be inquisitive of, of everything that's around you and try to seek inspiration from everything that's around you. You have to be a team player, of course, in terms of all graduates will be working in small teams, certainly here. Um, with perhaps one or more other graduates in that particular team and then more senior members. So obviously getting advice from them, working with them is all part of that process, being open basically. And I'm afraid to say just uh, dedication and hard work is also of course uh, an um, important criteria. Although we're 200 engineers, I can assure you that it, they are 200 very busy engineers and um, so unfortunately long hours that can be part of the part of the job. I think um, what I've really enjoyed about motor racing as a career is the immediate feedback you get. A lot of my graduate friends um, went to work for British Aerospace and Rolls-Royce engines and there the, the feedback is a much slower process because the things you're working on in practice in the aeronautical world have quite a long lead time between initial research and when they finally are in the air. Motor racing you get this very direct feedback which of every week or two during the season you're you're out on show and so how you're doing is is very apparent and obvious and it's it's very there's only one goal which is to make the, the fastest car with acceptable reliability. It's, so it's a very simple sport in that sense. And, and that I've found tremendously stimulating. Of course, painful when it's going badly, but at, at least you know where you are. I think to an extent that difficult first year at Southampton helped me give that kind of dig deep determination that has then at times helped me through my career.